Hi guys, Jason M1 PRO here, and uh, this is just a short video regarding amateur television. Um, video could be quite handy for uh, people who want to give ATV a go and um, on a bit of a budget because uh, it can be quite an expensive game, uh, especially now with the digital side of things because um, they're quite expensive and you might buy all this stuff and find out it's not for you so um, this video is just to uh, show you what's available uh, this is analog um, the analog stuff for 23 sems and 13 sems is getting a little bit hard to get hold of there is a, a couple of people still selling bits and pieces um, but regards to then you've got to locate amplifiers and stuff like that um, and it can work out quite expensive I found the, this post on the BATC's forum, the British Amateur Television Club's uh, forum, and it talked about some units they found that um, fall into the 6M amateur band, so 5.7 gigs. So uh, these are the units. It comes as a package. Um, I'll stretch that lead out as well, because that's part of it, just this bit here. But what you get is... Transmitter, if you focus, and um, that's the unit, 600 milliwatts. It's controlled by these dip switches here, and uh, will cover from about 5.6. I'm just trying to think out what it was, bear with me. Um, it goes into the sections of the amateur band, about 5.6 to 5.8. <clears throat> The only thing about the units is they use these SMA connectors, if it will focus back in again. Um, so it's a male one, so you need a converter for it. On the opposite side is the lead here. So the, what, the lead is actually pre-wired with um, plus and minus uh, volts and video in. They do give you extra few pins on this connector here. Um, some wires that you can push in and it will do... Um, audio as well, just got to select the right ones, audio in, and what have you. Runs off five, sorry, 7 to 26 volts. There's some specs on it there. There you are, there's working for each five, five, six, four, five to 5945. Five. So, quite a um, decent uh, frequency range. Everything, like I say, is controlled by dip switches. It's got four bands, or four banks, and then 32 channels. So there's that. That's your transmitter. Here we have the receiver. Again, it's got a male SMA connector. On this side, you've got volts DC, and then a 2.5 jack, I believe it is, for video and audio out controlled all by here via the dip switches so again you can get this on ebay as a package um for i bought two lots of units so i've got that one and then i've given my friend another one to do a test with and i think it cost me 34 pound in total i can show you my order from um There's the order, that's the unit. So that's what you need to look out for. Like I say, 5.8G, 600 milliwatts. These are normally used for the drones and stuff like that. So there's quite a few sold. 33.98. And they are free shipping. It does come from China. So it did take about it was 12 days to turn up. So once you've, once you've got that, you'll need the adapter. The SMA adapter. So if you look inside, it's female, and it reverts it to what I class as standard amateur uh, SMA connectors, which allows you to. Uh, I'm using semi-rigid coax, but you can get uh, all sorts. That's the semi-rigid stuff. Again with the uh, male connector. 
So obviously that's going to cost you £34. These are going to cost you a couple of quid each. Obviously you need one for transmit, one for receive. I bought two, but my friends borrowed one just to get them going. And obviously you need an antenna. I picked this up at um, the McMichael Rally. It's a panel antenna. Um, normally used for Wi-Fi. You can do gives you the horizontal vertical. And, uh, that's the company. As you can see from the frequency range, 5.15 to 5.875. So perfect for what we're after. Um, the only specs I could find on the internet was it's 6 watts max at 19 dBi. Give or take of that frequency range. Um, I think it went down to about 17. Um, but I've just put a random figure of 19 dBi. So obviously we are 600 milliwatts in. It will... Uh, Give you a nice healthy ERP. Uh, that was £15 from a rally. So a little bit expensive for a panel antenna. But I needed something that I wanted to uh, to get going straight away basically. So I'm just going to wire this all up. And uh, we'll give you a brief uh, demonstration of it. So I'll be back in a moment. Right here we are back again. So I've got some other bits and pieces just to get it all up and running. I've got a colour bar generator. Um... At the moment, the receiver's plugged in. What I forgot to mention was, or I probably did, was the lead that uh, was supplied. They've got the yellow lead. It's normally video, but they've got that the wrong way around. So uh, make sure. Uh, I did think it was broken, but uh, clearly not. I was lucky I checked it. So there's a the receiver up and running. <clears throat> I'm just going to plug um, the transmitter in now. So give it a sec. So we've now got the transmitter in. And there is it transmitting on 5665. There's the colour bar generator giving you a bit of information. As I was saying, it's the uh, colour bar generator. So it's just transmitting across across here. But um, if there's a few of you that want to try ATV and uh, don't want to spend too much money, you could probably get yourself going like I say, the units were £34, a couple of quid for the connectors. You're looking around about, I'd say, maybe about 60 quid each. Um, there are amplifiers that you can buy, I've seen that go up to about 4 or 5 watts um, for these, with 600 milliwatts input. I think it was either 4 or 5 watts. They are out there if you want a bit more power. Um, the notes do say as well that this transmitter does get warm. And they do say it's normal. So it's recommended you probably mount this on some sort of heat sink or some bit of metal work to try and get rid of the heat. And also remember the frequency um, on the RSGB band plan uh, for 6M. It doesn't really talk about um, ATV that much. Um, so the guys from the BATC come to an agreement that uh, 5665 is a good frequency. But uh, have a look at the BATC's uh, forum and you'll find it on there. And it's uh, a cheap and easy way to uh, to have a dabble in ATV. Uh, a lot of people muck around with <coughs> excuse me, gun diodes and, and receivers and LMBs. Um, again, you've just got to get a hold of all these bits and pieces. Gun diodes are getting very hard to get hold of. Plus, they're unstable. Uh, these are all PLO locked. And... Um, as I say, working away, <clears throat> I can switch the generator off, so it's off at the moment, back on. So give it a try, I'll put um, links into the description and um, I'll answer any questions the best I can. Again, just mucking around with these units, it's all early days, so uh, if you've got uh, a friend who's local, mile or two away and uh, you both ever fancied uh, trying different things give this a go it's definitely a bit of fun seven threes for now